everyone, welcome to the final cut. We're going to dive right into today with a movie that's not out in theaters yet. It hasn't hit Blu-ray or DVD. No, it's only on video on demand, and it's REC3 Genesis. Yes, Rec3 Genesis. Now, we have followed this franchise on this uh, show. We, we reviewed one, two, and so I thought it only right we review three before it hits the big wide release. Now, in this story, uh, we've, uh, we've gone away from the apartment building that we the events of the first two films took place in, okay? The infection has spread, and we get to see the setting this time of a wedding, a huge wedding, lots of relatives for Clara and Coldo, who just got married. Well, while at their wedding reception, things are just getting down and getting boogie, and then somebody get down with the infection, and they brought the infection to the others, and pretty soon the lovers get separated as the infection spreads amongst their guests and relatives, and we see the rest of the movie as the two try to re unite, get back together, and then get out of the town, basically, or the area, I should say, where all their relatives have decided to go zombie up. Folks, uh, Genesis 3 is, uh, sorry, REC 3 Genesis is a lot of fun, okay? Now, they do have found footage, just like in the first two, in the first chunk of the film, but then they abandon it and go to the regular for lack of a better term, Hollywood style or movie style shooting, more traditional style. And when they do this, the music changes, the style of the direction changes, and it goes from found footage kind of creepy horror film to uh, traditional kind of cheesy dark humor zombie film. And I loved that bit of it, okay? I liken this similar to what Army of Darkness was to the Evil Dead franchise. This movie is to the REC franchise. Now, but not quite so over the top, okay? But there is humor involved more than in the previous two, and there is your gore elements and some scary moments, but not nearly as creepy as the first two, okay? So it's a standalone kind of film. Happens within the same world as the other two films, but it is definitely a own different group of characters, and so should be handled as its own separate film. Though we do get some elements and some more explanation and background on the occurrences that are happening and the reason why this infection is actually taking place and, you know, the, what, what causes the infection, which I always love the REC series, uh, the REC series, because uh, their explanation of the, the infection is, is great, and I never th thought of taking that angle before. It's a lot better than what they did in Quarantine, which is the U.S. version of the first film, where they talked it was basically a bad case of rabies. This case, it's not so much. Got a different feel, different storyline, and I really liked that. Clara in this, the bride, is pretty badass and became one of my favorite new leading actress uh, characters, leading female characters in a horror movie. I loved her. She, she's just pretty badass throughout the film, and it was really great when she got her chainsaw. They're just kind of a sultry scene, and she gets her chainsaw, and you never think a, a girl of her frame could you carry such a big chainsaw? And that being said, just true. You know, she doesn't look that strong, but man, she wields that sucker around like Leatherface. That's right, folks. You also get plenty of gore in it. It is got some traditional zombie elements in it, though the ending was a bit predictable, and it wasn't as serious as the other two films. I, though, still really enjoyed Rec 3 Genesis, and I gave it three and a half stubs. Just like the other two films, a very solid, fun horror film, as long as you take it on its own as kind of an add-on to the franchise and to the other two movies, but definitely is a different feel, a different style, and different taste of film, if you will, than the other two. So give you fair warning, you diehard fans out there, you may be a little disappointed if you're thinking more serious, creepy REC film. And then I'll about do it for us here at the final cut. Till next time, folks, keep that ticket simple.